Now, I, I, I almost conducted na mga parang 2,000 lessons and then 1,000 plus ng mga 1,200 lessons non is mga booked lessons siya. So, I would say na on my end, I would say na maganda yung alam nyo yun, i-full time yung native cam. Pero, Hi! How is it going? I'm Carol of the Cheerful Teacher channel and welcome back to my channel, guys! I na kong my video. I missed my video. And so recently, I didn't upload na, you know, a lot of videos about Native Camp or even like personal vlogs because I've been very busy. And for today's video, is going to talk about if it's worth it to be full-time your Native Camp or if you can be part-time sa Native Camp and the most frequently asked questions nyo sa akin about Native Camp. You know, since hindi ako gano nakaka-reply sa mga tanong nyo sa akin mga videos, so subukan natin sagutin nyo dito sa video na to. Alright, and before we officially start, I would like to say hi to Teacher Sean Abarentos. Hi to you, shout out Teacher Sean. And yeah, nag-comment siya last time sa may video, sa not video, sa may post ko sa community tab, or community dito sa YouTube, and yeah, shout out sa'yo. So, this is my promise. And gusto mo, kung gusto mo rin ma-shout out sa aking next video, so mag-leave ka lang ng comment dito sa ating video na to. Just leave hashtag pa shout out teacher Carol. And I will shout out your name in my next video. So, yan. Ito na nga. So, pag-usapan natin kung worth it ba na i-full time ang native camp or hindi. So, first, first, um, yung sasabihin ko sa inyo about native camp is based on like my experience and probably the experience of others because na kakausap ko din yung mga ibang teachers natin and of course so nago observe din ako dun sa mga conversations ng mga teachers natin na nakakausap natin so basically ako isang home based teacher dito sa native camp at alam ko it's different from the office office based at yung apala so gusto ko lang ishout out si teacher wait office based teacher siya uh, this is teacher Shai Shai Omiping. Yeah, and so uh, she left a comment in my video last time. So she said that I don't know, like little. Yeah, so she's an office-based teacher. So hi to you. Hindi ko talaga alam yung parang sistema sa office space, pero uh, I'm just glad na somehow nakakatulong din yung mga videos natin sa office space. Kasi di ba pag sinabi nating office-based teachers, nandiyan yung magagaling na teachers din. Of course, there are a lot of, you know, magaling na teachers na home-based din. Pero pag sinabi, na, sinabi natin office-based, so I would say na well-trained sila, I guess. Because, you know, nasa office sila at alam nila yung parang galawan talaga dito sa native camp. So, kasi tayo mga office-based teachers. Guys, I mean home-based teachers. Nagbe-base lang tayo sa learning kit at probably dun sa mga helpful videos na nakikita natin dito sa YouTube. So, ito na nga. Um, it's totally, I think it's totally different from the office base and the home-based teacher. But this insight is from a home-based teacher. So, here at Native Camp. So, uh, first, okay, firstly, um, I've been working here at Native Camp for almost nine nine months because this coming 16th, I will be exactly nine months dito sa Native Camp. At um, this is my full-time job since April. And also... This is our main source of income. Ayon, um, I started here at Native Camp with a with a rate of eighty pesos per booked class at fifty seven pesos and twenty cents sa sudden classes. But it's it's just fifty five pesos. But yung sudden classes natin is nagiging twenty six minutes. Kaya natatagdagan siya ng two pesos and twenty cents. So ganon kaya nagiging 57 pesos and 20 cents. So if, if you want to compute your your sudden lesson payment, kung kalibawa 5 minutes lang yun naging sudden class nyo, so compute nyo lang siya sa times 2 pesos and 20 cents. So yun yung magiging payment sa inyo. Kasi minsan dito sa native camp, hindi na ko kompleto yung 26 minutes na lesson. Depende siya sa students. At depende kung madi disconnect yung, yung class because of internet interruption or power interruption. So, ganun siya. Ang book rate naman dito sa Native Camp, starting mo is 80 pesos per booked class. But, kailangan is ma-maintain mo siya para mag-rank up ka. So, merong certain um, numbers of book classes na kailangan mong ma-achieve every cut-off para mag-rank up ka or para ma-maintain mo yung 
book rate mo. Okay, now, ganito yung sistema sa booking rate ng mga home-based teachers. So, ang, ang B2, um, yun yung, yung starting ng rank mo. So, 80 pesos na. Pag may free flag ka, na, free flag is yung parang free reservation kapag ka mga first weeks mo. But, I'm not sure if binibigay pa rin yun sa you know, sa new teachers. I don't know if you are a new teacher here at Native Camp at nakareceive ka ng free reservation flag, um, mag-comment ka lang dito. So, let let me know because I don't have like update about it. But basically, ang i-discuss ko dito, dito is yung sistema sa Native Camp. So, ngayon, kung B3, kung, mag, kung gusto mong ma, mag-rank up or maging B3, kailangan yung cut-off na yun para sa next cut-off is mag-rank up ka or tumaas yung rate ng book classes mo, kailangan magkaroon ka ng 5 or more book lessons. At yung rate niya for, for pag naging B3 ka na is magiging 84. So, I think um, add siya ng add ng 4 pesos sa book lessons mo. So, ganun siya. Pero kapag ka, halimbawa, B2 ka ngayon tapos naging B3 ka next, ano, next cut-off at less than 5 yung booking bookings mo ng ng cut off na yun, the following month magbababa ka ulit sa B2 so magiging 80 pesos ulit yung book rate mo pero madali nga ba na makuha yung mga booked classes dito sa native camp so depende siya, depende siya sa profile mo at depende siya sa kung gaano ka mag, kagaling mag-handle ng students at depende rin siya sa students na ma-handle mo kasi ganito siya. Importante sa Native Camp yung ratings mo. So kung nag-start ka pa lang dito sa Native Camp at nagkaroon ka ng alam mo yun, first student mo is medyo parang tagilid sa din class and then binigyan kanya ng 3 stars. Uh, so let's admit it based on what I heard from other teachers, medyo tagilid na kasi ang hirap nang makakuha ng students nun, even sa sudden class. Pero for me, hindi ko naman kasi siya na-experience. Pero hearing that from, alam mo yun, from the experience of other teachers, so mahirap nga, mahirap nga talaga na mag-umpisa ka na mababa agad yung rate ng student, yung ratings na binigay ng student sa iyo. So, make sure na kapag ka nagkaroon ka na ng first student dito sa Native Camp, is galingan mo talaga. And I have here like, you know, my preparation when I was just starting here at Native Camp. So, baka makatulong siya sa inyo. Um, make sure na, na you are well prepared if you go on standby. At kailangan ng mahabang-mahabang pasensya if you will go on standby here at Native Camp. So, yun. Bali, um, ganun yung sistema dito sa Native Camp. But then, if ma-maintain mo yung mga kailangan ng kailangan na booked lessons every month or every cut of dito sa Native Camp is alam mo yun, maganda yung, maganda yung pasahod dito sa Native Camp. Of course, iba talaga yung rate ng Native English teachers at I think, meron na, meron na di kasi tayong mga Japanese teachers dito sa Native Camp. So, pero based on my, alam mo yun, parang pag, pag-analyze nung sa, yung sa payment natin dito sa Native Camp, okay na din siya compared dun sa, lalabas ka ng bahay, I mean, magta-travel ka para lang, pumunta sa trabaho. Even it's not pandemic, so, siguro, if full time ko pa rin tong native camp. Kasi, I have a, I have a baby, and, or, actually, three years old na siya, pero, mas gusto ko na nasa bahay, and nag-work lang. So, yun. For me, okay na, if full time yung native camp. Pero, again, ito po ay depende sa inyo, because, hindi po lahat is pinapalat na magkaroon ng book classes. So, share ko lang yung naging, alam niyo yun, yung naging flow nung, nung journey ko dito sa native camp nitong 9 months na pag-stay dito sa Native Camp. So, in my first 3 months, 4 months, so talagang todo sudden classes talaga ako. Alam niyo, nabubuhay sa sudden class. So, yung yung book, yung book classes na nakukuha ko per cut of is enough lang siya para mag-rank up ako dun sa sa next sa next rank. B2, B3 and then B4. So, enough lang siya. And then um nitong mga let's say 5, 6, 7, 8 hanggang ngayon. So, I'm very happy kasi na maintain ko na siya. So, dito ko na din experience na uh, like, like la, just last July. And then, kailan ba yung vlog ko na about sa, you know, I got fully booked because of the free reservation dito sa Native Camp. So, balikan lang natin. This is just, you know, um, an, an impromptu video. So, I'm just saying it now and doing it now. I think it was three months ago na um, yun yung first time na nakasali ako dun sa tinatawag na free reservation 
every Sunday ng Native Camp. So, ito yung kapag ka okay yung number, okay yung, okay yung rating mo, tapos um, in your recent in your recent months, na, nagkakaroon ka na ng medyo, medyo marami-raming booked lesson. So, and then you open slots, at least two slots, 10 days in advance, nung Sunday na yun. So, possible na makasali ka dun. So, yun. Um, naging okay, naging maganda yung parang booking, bookings ko dito sa Native Camp. And even, even before that, so, nag, nagkakaroon naman tayo ng mga, alam niyo yun, mga regular students dito sa Native Camp. At kung, kung gusto niyo malaman kung pa, paano ko yun nagawa, so, watch this video about yung my tips kung paano mag, ano yun, increase at double ng booking dito sa Native Camp. And, cause right now, I, I, I almost conducted na mga parang 2,000 lessons and then 1,000 plus ng mga 1,200 lessons non is mga booked lessons siya. So I would say na on my end, I would say na maganda yung alam nyo yun, full time yung native camp. Pero syempre, may, may ibang teachers na especially yung nababasa ko sa GC and yung mga nasa open space na, na mga uh, message and then yung mga teachers na naghihingi ng advice kung paano magkaroon ng mga booked lessons sa native camp. So, I realized na hindi pala lahat is nagkakaroon ng maraming booked lessons dito sa native camp. And I realized na hindi lahat is pinapalad na magkaroon ng mga regular students. So, maraming nabubuhay nga again sa sudden classes. But siguro, sabi ko na lang na sobrang blessed ako kasi yung, yung ginagawa ko na lang ngayon is alam yun, more on booked lessons. Kung magsasudden lessons man ako, um, siguro to complete na lang yung 100 lessons sa cut-off para magkaroon tayo ng additional na 100 dun sa in incentive. Ngayon, kung ipapartan nyo yung native camp, okay lang din naman. Um, kasi depende naman sa inyo kung kailan kayo mag-open ng slot dito sa native camp. So, pwede kayo mag-open ng slot ng, you know, 2 hours lang. That's 4 slots or 4 hours lang. So, it depends sa inyo. And... Yun nga lang, so ang rate lang sa sudden class is 57 pesos and 20 cents. And um, may 10% tax dito sa native camp. So, um, gusto ko kayo mag-decide kung gusto nyo bang i-full-time or i-part-time yung native camp. At kung i-give up nyo ba yung trabaho nyo. But as for me, I'm, you know, I'm happy staying here at native camp. Kasi ito yung main source of income ko ngayon at okay naman. Wala, in, in my almost 2,000 classes, never ako naka-experience ng rude student dito sa Native Camp. So, yung ibang teachers, siguro, um, I've been hearing a lot about rude students dito sa Native Camp. But for me, strict students, siguro. Nakwento ko na yun sa mga previous vlogs ko. And I would say na uh, Japanese students are very polite and also Taiwanese students. So recently I'm receiving a lot of book lessons mula sa mga Taiwanese students and nakakatawa kasi nire-recommend nila yung alam niyo yun, yung teacher nila dun sa sa parent ng ng ibang na, na ibang na ibang students and then yung parents so nagbo-book sila ng klase sa akin kasi recently guys um more on kids yung nagiging students ko dito sa Native Camp. Probably because of my introduction video nga. So, yun. So, that's one tip then also if you wanna get more kids students. So, make your introduction video kid-friendly because kung nagahanap ka ng students na bata dito sa Native Camp at hindi mo wino work out yung, alam mo yun, hindi mo pinapaganda yung introduction video mo, hindi ka makakuha ng kids Kasi mahirap makakuha ng kids dito sa native camp. Most of the, the students here at native camps, native camp are adults. So, ganun siya. Um, ano ba ba? Yun, so, um, with the requirements, I am not sure if may nabago ba dun sa requirements ng native camp. And with the demo lesson of native camp, uh, let me know if they changed the way kung paano gagawin yung demo lesson dito sa Native Camp. Because recently, they have updated, like, the textbook materials about the why do you need nato. So, meron na, meron na siyang parang listening part ng vocabulary words and then listening part din ng conversation. So, I'm just not sure kung yung, like, video ko before about the demo lesson is ganun pa rin. But I think medyo na iba na siya. And I, I'm not like sure about it so let me know in the comment box also so 
yun. And I hope somehow naman is nakatulong itong video na to para, alam nyo yun, somehow masagot yung mga questions nyo about sa Native Camp. And if ever na may question pa kayo, leave it here so I can make, you know, another video next time about Native Camp. So, I think that's just basically it. So, um, again, for, for others, so hindi ganun kaganda yung bookings nila dito sa Native Camp based on their experiences. But for me, it's naging okay kasi yung flow ng journey ko dito sa Native Camp. So, book classes, 104 pesos for 25 minutes class. O sabihin na natin, 200 pesos per hour. Pero again, may 10% tax dito sa Native Camp. Pero okay pa din. So, in my next video, um, let's talk about the updates na nangyari dito sa system ng Native Camp. Yon. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave it here. And I, I, I can't promise na masasagot ko siya agad agad, but I will promise na pabasahin ko siya and I'm gonna make a video about it in my next vlog. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, I do videos about ESL teaching, teaching tips, especially here about Native Camp, and, you know, personal vlogs, DIY, and all those stuff. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful.